Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Today, OpenAI just released this brand new spanking AI model that's GBT 4.0. I think this literally just came out um, today. And uh, yeah, I don't know how that is systematically better compared to like your chat GPT 4, which is uh, exactly what I had before. But yeah, like now there is this GPT 4.0. Since apparently GPT-4.0 is better at understanding images, so let's compare using an image. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, yeah, let's let's go and um, figure out like what's going on here. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Let's do this in um, two modes right here. I'm gonna use like uh, just your regular GPT-4 and uh, let's ask it like what's going on right here. Explain this all right <laughs> okay i don't know what's gonna happen right here okay <laughs> all right okay very nice okay that's that's pretty good i mean like that's gpt4 like that does pretty well by the way the context right here is uh this right here so this petition um i created a while ago it has uh, 1,341, oh wow, that's that's more than I expected. But yeah, like um, a petition basically against uh, Dr. Bruce Gilly for basically making false statements right here. Let's try the same thing with uh, GPT-4, oh, and uh, let's see. Alright, same problem. But a uh, different chat right here. Um, huh, okay, it seems like it actually will give me something that looks a bit like this. I interesting. All right, interesting. Huh. I am already seeing some clear difference in detail right here. I mean, like, if you simply were to just go right here and have a look. Left side, right side. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you can obviously see that the left side, which is GPT-4, basically has less um, of a breakdown right there. You can see that um, there is essentially a, a lot more detail really in the GPT-4.0 situation right there with the academic background input right there you can see that obviously this could actually indicate that GPT-4.0 is really capable just of well looking more deeply at this image right here you can see obviously that the level of detail that this had gone into um, was much higher with the GPT-4.0 compared to well your GPT-4. Um, you can see also that there are dates right here, which is, um, this thing is a lot more detailed when it comes to actually like looking at these things right here. There is essentially some indication of, uh, public speaking, uh, yeah. So then now this actually showcases, um, a little bit of a flaw right here on the power of GPT-4. Um, GPT-4, it says... The center shows the individual speaking at an event, possibly at a university, given the academic setting in the background. Um, what GPT-4 doesn't know is that this image at the back right here is essentially just an AI-generated image of Princeton University. It's not actually Princeton University, by the way. While well, GPT-4.0 realizes that assume makes an ass of you and me, it doesn't make that assumption. I'm very happy with that. It says, there's a central photograph of a man speaking to a microphone, likely the person whose academic background is highlighted. Controversial outputs and criticisms. Wow, okay, so like it not only realized that there was an input, but also realized that there was an output, and it managed to establish the relationship between the inputs and the outputs. Outputs, yeah, so then there, there is a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. Begging for support, indicating a financial fee, possibly linked to his work or cost. Um, yeah, it found a number as well. I'm very happy about this. Um, GPT-4 did not find the number, while uh, 4.0 did it in a cinch. Mischaracterization of anti-Zionism as anti-Semitism. Um, 
there is essentially uh, more detail right here. It even managed to read everything right here. And it even managed to infer stuff about the context. That's great. It's actually amazing. Um, and then refusal of accountability. Uh, yeah, this is uh, essentially what you've got right there. Uh, well... Interesting to note right here, um, so GPT-4 says, well, the entire layout appears to be critical of the individual's approach um, of handling these issues, possibly accusing him of intellectual dishonesty or misconduct in the context of his professional activities. Um, yes, absolutely, I am right there, um, but uh, yeah, GPT-4 kind of falls short. When it comes to like the final thing right there, I mean like it says constructed to provoke thought or discussion about integrity and accountability of individuals in positions of influence, especially within academic and intellectual circles. Bruh, I mean, <laughs> this is true, I mean, but it's very specifically well tailored towards this dude right here who until now has failed to take accountability for his actions. It's laughable. Portland State, I don't know how this is happening right here. Is it that your administrators are only capable of understanding things on the level of GPT-4 to the extent that you do not see the valid critique of the individual's actions or statements? Do you not see that there is something deeply wrong with having such a prestigious academic background but failing to take responsibility for your statements? If you don't, then do better. That petition is um, kind of a doozy right there. Um, and you can look that up if you just look at the link in the description right here. I'm not going to bore you with every single thing, but if you believe in it, then sign it. But yeah, I mean, like, that was an interesting look, really, at the difference between your good old-fashioned GPT-4 and also your GPT-4. Oh, so... Yeah, like, what do we have right here? Number one way more detail. Number two, it can look way more closely at the details and identify them and establish relevance. Number three, it reduces the assumptions. I don't know how well it's going to do this across like a range of different situations, whether it's going to happen like in the next like 100 iterations, I don't know, like maybe GPT-4.0 is just gonna drastically fail compared to GPT-4. Uh, not really for me to know. And number three, it is also way faster. GPT-4 took 19.75 seconds to finish creating the response to my initial input. And well, GPT-4.0 took only about 13 seconds. So that's about like a six second time savings, which doesn't seem like it's a lot, but it does add up over the course of time. And so yeah, that's my interesting little test of GPT-4 versus GPT-4.0 right here. And we are one step closer to having the university taken over by robots. Both of these models are super impressive. It's really cool that we have essentially these models that are able to not only give us full length essays, but also are able to well, look into our world and understand it for us. GPT-4.0 is an incredible step in the next direction right there. And uh, yeah, if there is nothing else that you took away from this, it is screw you, Bruce Gilly. Sign the petition. Link in the description. And oh, please, robot overlords, when you eventually take over the world, remember me for paying you 20 US dollars a month and also respecting you deeply. Thank you AI overlords, over and out.